Okay, Guitarist Miko here. I'm practicing quintuplets. This lesson is kind of an extension of the previous lesson that I made where I was talking about subdivisions and switching between them and somebody was asking about how to practice quintuplets. It's not harder to play quintuplets in my opinion than anything else, it's just we're not used to it and we don't get exposed to it in our culture. It's uh, we don't hear it on the radio, so it's going to be uh, unfamiliar to us. So what we need to do is we need to start practicing it. And somebody also asked what kind of metronome I use. This is a pretty straightforward metronome. Uh, I like to have an actual metronome instead of just using my phone or the metronome in uh, Logic or whatever, because then you have to open the program every time. So I recommend a metronome actual physical one. So I turn it on and I play just one note. Quintuplets. I could be alternate picking or I could start e every five note group with a downstroke. Down. The problem with the previous lesson uh, was that you had a six note uh, grouping played as quintuplets. It's obviously going to be a lot easier to pick a five note grouping. So if you look at the PDF for this lesson, there is a example three there. I have a five note grouping, which is a triad going up and down that creates five notes. One, two, three, four, five. the scale uh, it will sound like this you get the idea so it's all where you put the accent and here I'm putting the accent on the first note of each five note grouping so one two three four five one two three it's not too hard to do i think you can do that uh the problem is if we're playing a different grouping of notes so let's go back to triplets and look at example one where i have a four note grouping, an arpeggio, and I go up the scale. If I pl play those as triplets, accenting every uh, example one there every time I start a new uh, four note grouping but if I instead act put the accents where the metronome is it's gonna sound instead of it sounds sorry you, see, you hear the difference example two I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but if you hear the difference between what's going on, we have two kind of pulses going on at the same time, right? So you need to be able to feel both. But especially you need to be able to feel where you are in the music. In so I, I think example two, it's more important to feel because the if you feel too much the other one too much, you're gonna lose your place in the music. Um, so now let's go back to the five note grouping, or we're gonna create a new five note grouping, but this time we're gonna take a two note uh, pattern. So one two. 
Those are two notes, right? Boom, bum, doom, dum, doom, dum, etc. If I play those as quintuplets, sample four. Sorry. One, two, three. Put the accent on the first quintuplet every time you're gonna hear hear it. Right? Um, but if I instead put the accent on every time this two note grouping happens. So okay, so now I'm gonna five. play Quintuplets, uh, example four. I'm putting the accent there, and I'm going to play the two first quintuplets of example five and put the accents on every other note and alternate between those two, and you can hear the difference. to work on that uh, so um, you can hear the difference there hopefully and uh, you need to be able to do both and this is really good uh, for just developing phrasing so some of you might be thinking what what is this what's the point of this we're not gonna play quintuplets when we're playing uh, unless you're playing really uh, cutting-edge jazz fusion or something you're not gonna play quintuplets but I think it's important to practice this way because it opens up your sense of time and your rhythmic feel so that you're not locked into a eighth notes or triplets. You have, you can kind of expand your sense of rhythm, kind of. Uh, again, there is a great book by Jerry Bergonzi. Uh, this one is called uh, Melodic Rhythm, where he goes over this stuff uh, in detail, in great detail. As always uh, you also might want to check out some uh, Indian music well uh, that was all for this lesson and see you next time mm -hmm.